It is 3.57 the 22nd. God bless everybody in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Come down here to the store to uh, um, check out things. Did you guys, um, did you see in Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 55, 56, I believe, where it talks about when the sun and the moon, when it was set at a time by God, and when it says, when it's out of that ordinance, then you know the times that we're in, okay? When it's, when it's not set in the ordinance that, it, that God set it in, even though, yes, we still see the moon at night sometimes, but never did I see it during the daytime like we see it today. And uh, there's no doubt. A lot of people, you know, even though they're lukewarm about things, they all say, yeah, they know we're in the end times, but they're not paying attention to how close it really is, how close we really are to uh, these times we're in. And uh, they should be, but they're not. Yeah. Anyhow, let me see something. I got to move a little bit. Okay. They should know. They should be really into it, but they're not. There's a lot of things because they're not paying attention to a lot of stuff. And uh, we're clearly in that time now where things are going to be speeding up and uh, Biden Biden time I believe that's going to be what's going to happen is in a short amount of time there's the moon right there buddy See yeah it? I know there it is we got the full moon right here and we got the sun behind us you know right. it's not supposed to be like that during the daytime the moon was clearly the moon and the stars for the night okay the greater to rule the night the lesser light, and they're not supposed to be out there today. Most people ain't paying attention to this. No. And, uh, and they're not taking the stuff serious that we tell them. They're not taking it serious. And there's nothing more like now than they should be doing, you know? Anyhow, we're about to uh, go in here and use the uh, free Wi-Fi while we're down here because it's free, and that's what I came down here for to use it and check on comments and stuff but uh also you know you guys at times I shared with this one guy that's remodeling over there by where I'm at and uh you know he said the last two years they could see we're in the end times and stuff but they're and I asked him I said are you reading your bible at all and he goes no not really and I, I'm like why not you know you can see the times that we're in and how close things are and I said, you know what the number of the beast is? And he's going, you did know, 666. And then I started talking to him about the store lines. You know, how they're, they're stickers six feet apart. And there's generally three of them when you go to pay for your food. And it talks about the last days. And for some reason, people don't have this interest in none of these things. Even though they say they know that they could see we're getting into these times. But one thing I always hear them say a lot, well, I don't know if it's gonna be in my time or my children's time. I'm going, it's in our time. It's now. I said, you don't get this. I said, six, six, six. It's right on your, in your faces. Everybody wearing a mask, they're muzzled. I said, he's from Knoxville. I, yeah, Knoxville. I said, do you have to? He goes, well, my wife goes to the store. I said, does your wife wear a mask? He goes, I don't know. I'm like. Yeah, you don't know your scriptures, you don't know what your wife's doing, you don't know that the 666 is on the ground, but yet you say you're not sure if it's in your time or your children's time, but you know that things last two years have been getting bad. Do you know these shots, it's to alter your DNA. This is what's mind-blowing. You guys, listen, we're in the South, and I know there's going to be a revival, okay? It's, and this is called the Bible Belt. And I know the reason why it's called the Bible Belt. Because <clears throat> there's a lot of people here that do love the Lord. But they're going to get awakening. And it's going to be a rude awakening. And I'm thinking that's where they're going to be banging on the door. Lord, Lord, let us in. And they're going to know that these pastors have not been feeding them. They've not been t teaching them, giving them the truth. They're going to know it. 
but they're going to be strong in the Lord still because they're going to know they weren't reading their Bible. They weren't knowing the times. They weren't paying attention. They're going to know that they love the world and the things that are in it. They're going to find all these things out that they were deceived by the devil. And they're going to understand things that they're not listening to now. And these things that they're so the occupied foolish. with. The foolish. Yeah, they won't be so occupied with it when we're when this happens. Yeah, the military is rolling out now in about 14 different states where they're going to be pushing it. And I believe the Bible Belt is going to stand up against that. They're not going to cave in to these people and do what most of the other states will do. But what does Scripture say about that? He says only for a short time. But eventually, I believe after the rapture happens, God's going to give power to the devil to overcome them. You know, they're going to have a short time. Maybe Biden time. I don't know. Biden time. Biden time. Who knows? But either how. Stay close to our beautiful Father. Oh my God, what's that? Our beautiful Messiah, Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Stay close to them. He's in time we are in. Love all my brothers and sisters in Christ. Love you all. God bless you guys. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Everybody who has it, you can repent of your sins and stop it. You don't have to continue sinning. It's love of the world and the cares and the things of this life that hurt everybody. You, you got to overcome these things. And you got to die to them. Yep. God bless you. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. King of